Dude, you suck at this game. <laughs> Whatever, man. Hello everyone, and welcome to my rando Calrissian uh, game that I've been playing for people who are not familiar with randoms. I've been doing them in either one of two formats, one of which is that I play the game for a set amount of time, um, say about 30 minutes, I do a one-parter for about 30 minutes, or I will do three 10-minute marks depending on the pacing. Today, I'm going to try to go for a 10. Or a 30. I'm going to go ahead and continue with the one I started because this starting a new life is tedious. No one wants to see that. I want to get straight to the action. As you can see, I'm only about 23 minutes into the game. The premise of the game is that you are a robot android sent to try to nourish back these ancient ruins' uh, fucking. Uh, farmland so that you can unlock some door seals or whatever you must please the folks anyways here we have a living area clicking any of these sections is gonna allow you to cook stuff so far I didn't know how to make like like um, you have to actually use a different button to use triangle instead of X which is a bit disconcerting so okay so you can make tea coffee and herbal tea so I can't make a lot of stuff right now so I'm not gonna worry about that but we could change that by watching the cooking life Dorothy's cooking life. Oh wow, look at that. I haven't turned the volume down on the TV yet, so you might hear the same sound twice there. I apologize. Muting. Okay, here we go. <clears> oh, <throat> Dorothy Grimley here. Oh, cooking life. I explained that she explains the basis of cooking. And basically, she'll teach you how to make different things. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm more or less blind at this, so give me a break. If, uh, it's a bit rough. It's, 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 program is over. Why don't you go to the kitchen? Try to make dishes I talked about. You didn't talk any dishes, did you? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy admiring your weird ass hairdo. But anyways, a little bit more of the backstory. Uh, there's these ancient ruins that, uh, have this sealed door that you're trying to open. People have come to try to tend the farm but couldn't do it. Uh, oh yeah, tea. Yeah, it's. Tea's really easy. You just pour fucking water. That's an reason. Um, and if in in and and a lot of people have tried and have failed and just suck. So it's now out to you, the android, to go and take over where man failed. Here's Ash Ketchum. Uh, he's just chilling out when he's not out catching Pokemon. I come to this farm. It's not Ash Ketchum. It's Million. It's fucking my brain. Oh, uh, my character's name is Cunty, by the way. That's <laughs> Uh, yeah, million. I run the store in town. Yeah, it, this it's sort of still explaining how things work, but anyways, there's also a chance of a volcano exploding, from what I understand, and, and that's kind of scary. Uh, plants are pretty annoying too. Anyway, so here it is, our farm, and it's quite big. And look at that beautiful view. Holy shit, it's gorgeous. Anyways, you'll notice something a bit odd about these. Look at look at this shit. You see this? There's all these little land areas. They can't be farmed because uh, um, because they're sealed off by magical magic. So what you need to do is put little gems there, and I think they open up. I think that's how they explain it to me. Um, and then here's my crops I've started so far. But uh, what we need to do now is just go ahead and start taking care of this shit. I don't know how to do the buttons. The buttons are a bit confusing. Okay, okay, so you have to hit. Oh god, because it's not your traditional PS3 buttons. Oh, that's just my stats. Where's my tools, boy? 
Oh, right. Hit R2. L1. There we go. Uh, so, so, yeah, and each item levels also. So far, this is what I have. Power souls for when it's not winter. Winter souls from when it is winter. Seed bags and the seeds work a bit differently here. You can only have one kind of seed in each bag. So, since I have two bags, I can have two kinds of seeds. I don't know how I feel about this yet, but um, so far I'm okay with it. There's my hoe and my, and my uh, watering can, which is pretty self-explanatory. So far, they're both level one. Uh, they use PP, which is your energy that you use here. And that UI is pretty simplistic. So now that I equipped it, you can go ahead and just water. If you hold the button, let's see here, I would re you can use the there you go. See, our water can is getting experience at spreading water. I'm gonna become more powerful as a water can. Uh, you, I recommend you using the D-pad, not the uh, joystick, because okay, here's the D-pad. It's the walk button, so you walk at a decent speed. But if you use the joystick, you're fucking flying, so it makes watering very difficult. Anyway, so this is where you put metals, this is where you put vegetables, this is storage, pretty useful. This is for a pet, which we don't have yet. We can talk to this dude. Let's see what this guy has. Ugh, what a pain. Why do I have to come all this way down here? So you're cunty, huh? Okay, so who cares? Who does care? God, you're so mean. Damn it, Lenny. <sighs> yeah, why can't you be more like Emma? She's She's awesome. Here we go again. Always give her to our sister. Fine, whatever. I'll get a vagina. I'll grow boobs. He's kind of a. He's always like this. He's a dick. Come here, you. Maybe you can knock some sense to your head of yours. He's now going to pummel him. Ow, stop it. Ouch. You're pulling me using magic gravity. That's gotta hurt. Magical force gravity. Now, so far we have plants that I don't know how to get rid of. So this makes me sad. Although my hoe is like, I don't give a shit. Oh no, it is time for meditation. Time for the fact of the day. Just kidding. It's the fact of the day sound. Just kidding. I'm not kidding. Dog wags their tails. There's your fact. How do you pick shit up? I don't want to pick it up. Oh, it's Chris's. I've got to sing. i got to sing. Equip. some reason, you will, like, auto-equip shit sometimes. So be aware of that. There we go. I also don't know how to get rid of my tilled soil. There we go. People grow these weeds into mega weeds. I think if it's anything like Harvest Moon 64. Nope. Uh, I have to say though, I don't I don't mind this game as much. Uh, I wasn't much of a fan of Tree of Tranquility, which I have. Uh, I'll have to show you guys that sometime. It's it's something else. But I actually really do like this game. I randomly picked it up randomly, randomly. When I was running the video game, so I decided to give it a little shot. Enough fucking around the farm though. Let's let's go see other things. Uh, storage area is pretty bland. We're not going to be bothered with that. We're just going to go down to the, to the entrance and get the hell out of here. Let's do some exploring. Here's the ruins. There's more of the ruins. And the sealed door that's held down by a mysterious power. And I have to play through the entire game of Chrono Trigger before it unlocks. Ah, I'm kidding. That was a Chrono Trigger joke. Best joke ever. Anyways, you've got somebody's house. Somebody lives right next door to you. Fairly simplistic. You got a little bit of a leak there, buddy. Or is that a... What is that? Was that just a hole? I don't know what that is. It's kind of hard to tell with these awesome graphics. Let's see what old man has to say. Let's not. Let's not. Can I talk to you? Thank you. Thank you, Santa. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty much used to it. Oh, sweet. I got a sickle. I'm going to go on a murdering ramp. I mean, I'm going to use this to destroy grass. It's actually not a bad idea. Weeds are a bit of a plague up there right now. And that's going to be a big issue. Let's go see what's in this door. With some people. There's not a lot of music in this game, which... Oh, God, this place is rough. But that doesn't really bother me as much. I don't know. I like this game. It's charming all itself. Ooh, some art. Oh, I bet you I know who lives here. Oh, this guy. His name is Moonlight. Uh... Yeah, he's interesting. If, in the off chance you guys want me to do this game someday down the road, uh, I will restart the game. So you guys will get to see all of that. This door is also shut by a mysterious... No, wait, no, it's just... Just, there's, there's a button right there that says locked. Requires password, but we don't know how to read in this game. I'm kidding, I'm sure it doesn't say that. There's all kinds of... Let's go back this... Should we go this way? 
Ooh, so many ideas. This place is relatively large, from what I remember. As you saw in the cutscene there, you get a, like a freaking quad bike, which sounds freaking amazing. Let's go over here. Look at my awesome purple shoes. Oh, great, Franco. Still haven't shipped your crops. You better go back to the ruins. Ah. Oh, yeah, I can't leave until I ship my crops. What the fuck? Prove your worth. Make fruit. Actually, shoot. Let's just go slice down some freaking weeds. Call it good. This game is 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 pretty endearing. I love this game. Uh, I, 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 I get attached to it fairly quickly. Oh, the door's still open. Also, I, the X button does next to nothing, so you just... You know, if you want to, you can just hit keep slamming it. Just do anything. That's as far as I know. I'm sure it does. Let's go to the farm. Go to the farm and carve it down and assume the trees. Your energy doesn't whack was just waned very quickly either, thankfully, and it just switched to the to the tool that I needed. Holy shit. The evening bell is just rang. Thank god. I was really worried about that bell. All right, let's try sickling some shit. All right, let's do the walk button because... No, no. No, no, switch the sickle. Switch the sick. Switch the mad sick, bro. Equip the sickle. All right, there we go. All right, we can do this. Kyle finds out how... There we go. Let's go slice some shit. Yes! Oh my god, this feels so good. Let's clear off all the all the plants here in my area, and then I'll go on to uh, greener pastures, slashing over here. Now, uh, I wouldn't s I wouldn't say this game is better than my favorite, which of course is the GameCube version of It's a Wonderful Life, or the 64 version. I've never played the SNES version before, which is a shame. But it's expensive. If anybody ever go on eBay and looked it up. It's hell expensive, so. But there you go. Alright. Damn it. You put the sickle back in the hand. Oh, okay, let's see here. Sickle! Okay, there it is. That's handy. So that's what that button does. It cycles through your inventory. That's handy. I, like I said, though, I'm still getting used to this game, so my opinion of this game could change. Could get better, could get worse. Hey, I jumped over a rock. I like this game. This game is automatically better. I can jump. Nah, I'm kidding. You can do that in Harvest Moon 64. But it's definitely f far from bad. That's for sure. This game is actually really good. I'd recommend anybody to pick it up. So We don't know how to cut much of anything yet. We can't cut. We can't boil. We can't grill. We can't cutting drinks. We can't overbake dishes. Oh, oven baked dishes. <laughs> what? Uh, we can't do any oven baked treats, so we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna make uh, some herbal tea. Sounds like a ma sounds like an amazing fun time. I'm. Yes, look at that! Oh my god, that tea looks amazing. It's in the bottom of the cup. You should probably wash the tea leaves before using them. Hey, well, live and learn. However, I'm an android, so I don't necessarily see why I would even need to worry about that. But hey, whatever. Okay, let's say, and of course, as it is customary with any kind of uh, Barbara's Moon games, you've got to check out the weather. This crazy ass guy is going to tell you about all kinds of nice stuff. Okay, should be nice. Okay, thanks. Everybody's contact me. Okay. He's interested in your farm. Like, you want a good chickadee or something. I don't remember. Let's go to sleep and save. Nah, I actually didn't want to do that, but I did it anyway because I'm stupid. I'm now going to save. It's going to be fun. But, uh, yeah. I wouldn't say this is better than the GameCube version of A Wonderful Life. There actually is a PS2 version, uh, special edition for the PS2 that I want to buy eventually. It's actually, it comes with, like, a like a machine and shit. Actually, I'm going to have some uh, tea before I head out. We'll just have coffee, actually. I never made coffee before. You get myself started up. You did your best, but you're not sure what coffee is supposed to look like. So I'm probably gonna die after drinking this. 
There's only one way to get better. Dry, try again, because you know, it's just never going to happen. You drank the coffee. You contracted Ebola. All right. Let's go to the farm. Check out the farm. Make sure to see what damage is done. What are you doing, old man? Let's tip to him. I'm used to hitting X. Sometimes it's nice to just be still outside. What's that? What do you mean? I'm your way. Oof. Yeah, it's right, bitch. Get out of my way. I'm my way, son. You're using my oxygen. All right, let's go ahead and water our plants. Like I said, it's not going to be super entertaining in the beginning, obviously, because you're just watering plants. So, if I did ever do a let's play of this or play through of it, I'm sure I would do a lot of jump cutting. That or I would just ramble on, singing the song like I usually do. But uh, I definitely love the feel of this game, and it's an interesting concept. That is for sure. Alright, let's see here. Let's for sick hail. Pretty excited because tomorrow, uh, or today actually, is my birthday. Which hopefully is the day it's gone out. There we go. Which would hopefully be grand. I'm going to try to get this out tomorrow, the day I'm recording it. I apologize for not uh, having any more. Well, I didn't get any Jeff Force Gemini out last Thursday because I was really busy. I had a test to study for, as well as other things. Yeah, you, it doesn't show you the UI unless you sit still for a while. You can actually change that, so that's good. And get rid of all these weeds. Damn all weeds. Shit. Some wood here, too, and stone? How are we going to get rid of that? I don't know. But I usually would burn as much energy as possible. Plus, it won't help. It really won't hurt to like level my sixth up a little bit. But um, yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty excited that today is my birthday. I turned the big old two six. Um, still playing video games. So, ladies, just kidding. Bacon. <laughs> yep, I'm kidding. I personally think that any age is the best age to play video games, especially video games like this. Because it is a form of relaxation, which is nice when you're f doing school shit and work shit. So I'm gonna be working a lot more next week, so I don't know if I'm gonna get any more material. I'm, I'm trying to get as much stuff done today uh, before my girlfriend comes over and I spend the weekend with her. So I won't be able to call it then. But uh, another good news: I went to the dentist recently, and I have like. Oh shit ton of stuff wrong with me so that's good i need like fifteen hundred dollars so donate my paypal at i have a small wiener at paypal.com and give me your money and i will instead of doing an honest day's work just mooch off you guys sounds great sounds great okay dude there's no more leaves left how about that shit old man there was no more weeds left to slash Check out the shits! Oh, I'm so excited. These are turnips, by the way. They look freaking delicious. Would I ever actually eat turnips? I don't know. I've never had a turnip before. It's one of life's experiences I've yet. Oh, shit. I missed some leaves. I'm gonna go off myself now because I missed some leaves. Kidding. I'm gonna drink some bleach. See you later. I'm gonna. It's over. Afternoon bell has rang. Now, these cuts do get a little annoying, but honestly, I, I haven't found them super jarring yet. I think there's a setting to turn them off, so. This game is out of everything. Natsume is series fun. But you're going to notice a trend between this one and my next random. There's going to be a few randoms coming out. Or so far, two I got picked. Uh, oh, jeez, I missed all kinds of weeds. I'm an idiot. God, that old man's probably laughing at me. Look, <laughs> just get out of rage. But, um. Couple randoms, hopefully. You know, notice the theme between this one and the next one is that, oh gosh, oh boy, ooh. That is, of course, they are related by the same publisher. So they are, it's gonna be great. Or in fact, I might even start doing, I doubt I'll start doing updates with this one. I haven't done an update in a while because I don't really fucking need to. Hasn't been in dramatic changes. I moved, honestly, it's the last thing that I did that was really interesting. So, I don't really trying to change the format of the channel, so there you go. I'm trying to publish more if you hadn't noticed. And I'm trying to get Jet Force Gemini up and growing. Go, growing. Yep. I have to fucking play some more of that game and get back to where I was because I'm an idiot. And I hit that button and went back to the beginning. So I have to redo it. Who's this bitch? Oh, hello. 
Bro, Conti, I'm in my shot for barging, barging in like this. It's like everyone just makes privacy. Fuck that. I mean, you live in a private place. I mean, not in a private place at all, so you don't get any of your own privacy. So if you want to look at Android porn, you're completely screwed. I want to try something. Something can, anybody can walk in it. Oh, this isn't a shipping. This is a shipping fighter. I'm going to put things that we shipped. Oh, we can't put anything in there. There used to be in there trash somewhere. Can't put rock into the item box. Yes, there is. It's called water. Hey! As far as I know, that's the only way we can get rid of them. Oh, well. It's a good hard day's work. It's a good day's work, though. I don't know. This is another one of these games that I could sit down and play with the intention of only playing about 10 or 20 minutes and end up spending like 3 hours. Because it's, 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 it's lulling and in that sense it is also, hit, you know, it's addicting. It makes you think that, oh, well, I mean, this game is very simplistic, but in that it's also lulling your senses, it's dulling your senses to time. So you're just like... How did I just spend five or fifteen hours playing this game? That's the way I felt when I first played the '64 version. I rented it, and at first I was like, "This game's kind of lame. You just farm." And like by the end, and then for some reason I kept playing it. I was like, "I only play for my day, one more day." Next thing I know, I ended up playing it like an entire night. Watch some anime. Oh, it's currently off air. Shit. Yes, yeah, that is how this game really just got on to me. Oh, it's still on part one. Fuck you. I don't want to talk to you. It's one thing that annoys me. There's ways to speed up the text, but uh, I think I'll have to wait until after the story progresses for it to be really anything good, so. Oh, you can catch and try to make some bitches I talked about. I might just finish up cooking it. Yeah, it's good to read that twice. My bad, guys. I thought maybe she would tell us something interesting. The text moves a little slowly. We can't really speed it up too much. Let's check out the weather and news. Well, my mister sticks his finger in electrical sockets. It'll be rainy all day tomorrow. Uh oh. Alright. Ah, let's make a nice relaxing cup of tea before we go to bed. Let's make some tea. Just make a little herbal tea didn't really work out too well. You made tea. It seems very strong. Maybe we should sleep too long this time. You stupid android. I'm a learning comp I have a, a PCI processor. It's on my computer. A neural net processor. I have a neural net processor. It's a neural net computer. What if I just go on and murder and rampage with my sickle? I'm sure they won't mind. Alright. Now. It's raining outside now. I've never actually seen a rainy day in this game. When I rented it, I didn't play it too much. Because I think I also had another game that I played more. So it got put on the back burner. Which I don't know why. And I think I'm going to sleep in a little bit today. Yep. This is sleeping in. It's the best part of the game. Something you can't do in real life most of the time. Probably shouldn't do in this life, but it's an innocent life. I mean, I'm innocent. Let's go up and check on our farms. We don't need a water because it's raining. You don't have to water the pops today. The pops. Look at this shit. Oh, delicious. Mm. Delicious. Okay, I can't even pick them yet, so they're still going to sit here for a while. They should almost be done, though. That's what I say. Let's see if I can go into town. I don't think I can. Stupid. I don't understand what this game expects you to do in your downtime. I don't know. We're gonna go try talking to the old man again. The music is also very relaxing, so I'm just like, ah. But basically, I like how I get stuck here. I can't leave, right? I can only make crops because I'm a slave worker. I think they just come in and out as much as they like. Oh, what the heck is that? Hmm. Ancient battle block. However, it no longer works. Not no longer in the tradition. Aw, someone just left their battle bot laying out in the middle of the water. Irresponsible battle bot owners. So, I mean, it's PS2, mind you, but it's, the, the area is very serene. Simplistic, but in its simplicity, it's very serene. So. 
Yeah. I haven't really explored this place fully since I first played it, so I, I don't really know what to expect. Let me see if we can get out of here. I, I'll check to see if we get out of here. If we can't get out of here, then uh, we'll call it good. We'll call it a rando. Got a random part. The sign says. Straight ahead, Easter ruins. Good. Think of Easter. Oh, great. Franco from somewhere. Is he like pooping in a tree or something? I don't fucking know where he's coming from. It's just kind of like, you can't leave yet, buddy. Sorry. You're stuck here in the rain. Sad, alone, innocently. All right, everybody. I'd like to thank everybody for watching uh, this awesome, awesome game that is Harvest Moon Innocent Life. Pick it up yourself sometime, and I think you will really enjoy it. Uh, if if you if you're in it, if you're in the Harvest Moon, I think you'll enjoy it. I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy it. One that I would tell you to stay away from is Save the Farm on PS2. I didn't much like that one, and Tree of Tranquility. Um, it's pretty bad too. Uh, Harvest Moon Melodies, I have not played, and there's also a couple of the other ones on uh, 3DS. I haven't played Mineral Town on, on Game Boy Advance, stuff like that. But uh, I would tell you to stay away from Tree of Tranquility, especially. It seemed pretty cool at the time, but it is pretty ridiculous uh, because you run out of energy in like five minutes. It's, it's really stupid. And time doesn't stop when you go indoors. Which would be okay if it didn't go blaringly fast. So, anyways, guys, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Let's randomly play. Randomly playing Innocent Life. And I will see you next time. The next random. Or on freaking, uh, whatever. You know, like, Dr. Jeff Force or whatever. See you next time.